a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Do you know what, everyone? I think it's time to go home. Off we go. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down. The stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Ah, there you are. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro at your service. Mm. <laughs> Oh, hello. hello. The children in the library have been painting things today. Yeah. Look, they painted all these things. Mm. Yes. I think those are spoons. <laughs> now looks like Humpty Dumpty. Yes, that's nice. Stars. Mm. <laughs> yes. uh, can we paint something, Jackson? OK, Jelly, mm. but uh, yeah. what shall we... <laughs> 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 Hello, Milton. <laughs> Milton, why are you being a chicken? Yes, it's a clue as to what you could paint my green queen. <laughs> uh, do you want us to paint a chicken? No, no, not exactly. <laughs> Something far more exciting. Eggs. 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 One, yes. two, three. Yeah. Shall I paint this one to look like you? Yeah? Keep still then, don't move. First the eyes. Yes. The eyes. <laughs> then the mouth. 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 Perhaps some hair. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy, fluffy no, hair. No, <laughs> mine hasn't got hair. It's got a twizzly bow tie. Oh, mm. let's have a look. <laughs> this man. Oh, yes. Ooh, I Ooh. like decorating eggs, Milton. Oh. <laughs> Milton, can we make a story for our eggy friend? Of course, my green queen. Yeah. Let us employ this decorating accoutrement to create a decorating masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? It's time to make a story. <laughs> Will you help us to imagine a decorating story? Yeah, we need lots of imagination. Are you ready? Imagine! Imagine! Imagine a story! Come in. It's a playbook. And it's called Changing Our Room. Toby and Matthew are going to decorate their bedroom for their dad. I don't mind what they do, but I don't really like the colour blue. Oh. It looks as if our designer Jane does like blue. And so do Matthew and Toby. Oh dear. Red, orange, green, yellow, and of course, blue. This is going to be a colorful room. The rollers are great for making squiggly, wiggly lines on the wall. I wonder what they're painting. Do a cover of electric. Uh. 
It takes a while for the paint to dry, so they've got time to wash out their rollers and paintbrushes. Using a round dustbin lid is a great way of painting a large circle. Mm. I think it's a big sea painting with a bright orange octopus with eight long legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slippery, slimy seaweed floating in the sea. There's still lots to do. Now what's Jane up to? Ah, tin foil. Oh, shiny silver fish. Time is running out, and there are still a lot more to make. Lots of shiny silver fish swimming in the sea. <laughs> Toby sponging some bright yellow fish. And Matthew has nearly finished the octopus. All it needs is a big red smile. Time to clear up and see what Dad thinks. <laughs> Don't peek, Dad. You there? Yeah, I'm very nice. Oh, that's nice, boys. Did you do all this? If I could decorate the library, I would put flowers everywhere. Mm, flowers on the walls, mm. flowers on the ceiling, flowers on the floor. <laughs> I love flowers. <laughs> you know, Jelly, you should live upon a narrowboat. Mm. A Milton, what is an arrowboat? A narrowboat is a long, thin boat you find on canals. Oh. They're sometimes decorated all over. Walls, mm. ceilings, mm. inside and out, with colourful flowers like this. Oh, mm. oh, that's really pretty. Where did you get it from? A boy who lives on a narrowboat left it in the library. Oh. Oh. Mm. Would you like to see some more flowers? Oh, mm. yes, please. Mm. Look up. Oh. oh. Yeah. There's the narrowboat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you see any more flowers? There are flowers on the watering can. Mm. Oh, and flowers on the door. There are flowers all over. <laughs> mm. <laughs> flowers make me feel happy. Oh, oh, mm. Why don't we make a flowery story with flowers in it? Mm. Yes, a happy flowery story. <laughs> I wonder what sort of story the spoon will make. Mm. Let's see, shall we? Mm. Mm. Oh, I hope it makes a flowery story. Mm. Are you ready to imagine? Mm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. What's it going to be? No, um, uh, oh, oh, it's, it's a, a super baby, baby story. story. And it's called The Beautiful Sari. Who's that whizzing across the sky? Whatever the weather, she's happy to fly. Super Baby is in a lovely garden. Oh. She can see lots of pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. She can see bright butterflies. Butterflies. And she can hear beautiful birds singing. Tweet, 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 tweet. And who is this? Sitting amongst the flowers. It's a little girl. Hello. Hello, says the little girl sadly. 
The little girl is sad. I like my sari, she whispers, but I wish it could be as pretty as this garden. Don't worry, Super Baby will help you, won't you, Super Baby? Soars into the sky and holds her blanket in front of some fluttery butterflies. Then, ever so gently, she shakes the blanket over the little girl. There, a beautiful butterfly sari. But oh dear, the butterflies have flown away. Perhaps you'd better try again, Super Baby. So this time, she holds her blanket in front of some flower petals that have fallen in the wind. Then, ever so gently, she shakes her blanket over the little girl. There, a beautiful flower sari. <laughs> the butterflies come to see the beautiful flowers on the little girl's sari. Garden. The little girl is so happy. She wants to give Super Baby a hug, which is nice because a hug is just the thing that Super Baby likes. Hugs are squeezy. Hugs are nice. They're just what Super Baby likes. Hooray for Super Baby! She's triumphed again. That's a colourful sari. Oh, yes, it was, Jelly. Oh. Mm. Mm. What are you making, Jackson? I'm trying to build a tower as tall as the library. Wow. Mm. I use I a see. green block mm -hmm. and uh, another green block. Yes. And uh, this blue block as well, that uh, yeah. goes there. Mm. And uh, hmm, this red one, that can go on top. Okay. Now, um, oh, I'll get one of those yellow ones. Oh, <laughs> Jackson. Um, okay, mm. I'll put them out of the way down here. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. There. Right. Now, oh, I still can't reach the yellow ones. Yeah. Um, Milton! You called my precious pink fluffy friend? Um, could you put a yellow block on top of my tower, please? Mm. Oh, it would be a pleasure. Mm. Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> no sooner said than done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that chair has got the eggs on it. Mm. I appear to have egg on my face. <laughs> it's not on your face. It's on your... Jackson! Yes. If I may be excused momentarily, I'll clean myself up. Oh. While he does that, let's put this tower in the story machine to make a tower story. OK. Oh, carefully does it. <laughs> I hope it makes a really tall, towery story. Yes. Uh, will you help us with your imagination? Yeah. You ready? Mm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's coming. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a blue cow, cow story. story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Trifle Tower. <laughs> <laughs> In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was gazing at a tall tower in the distance. I wonder what it would be like to visit a tall tower. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a tall tower, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a city. Oh. And there.
then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She was in a bustling crowd gathered around an enormous towering parcel. Stalls had been set up along the edge of the crowd where people were selling tasty food. Ooh, I wonder what all these people are doing. We are waiting for Monsieur Trifle to show us his new tower, said a little girl who was standing at a sweet stall nearby. Ooh, how exciting, cried Blue Cow. Suddenly there was a fanfare of trumpets and Monsieur a trifle appeared. The crowd cheered and waved. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to see my new tower. Please stand back while the wrapping is taken off, he cried. The trumpets blasted again, the paper was whipped away, and there stood an enormous tower made entirely from trifle. The bottom is made of the finest raspberry jelly. The middle is made of the creamiest yellow fight custard. Oh. And the top is made from the whippiest cream in the world. Yummy, yum, yum, chanted the crowd. But Blue Cow thought something was missing. It would look even better with some sweetie sprinkles on the top. The crowd agreed and started to chant. Sweetie sprinkles, sweetie sprinkles. Oh, you are right, blue creature, but I don't have any. My trifle tower is a disaster. Blue cow went to comfort poor Monsieur Trifle, but she tripped and fell onto the sweet stall. Up flipped one side of the table and hundreds and thousands of sweetie sprinkles went flying into the air and rained down on the trifle tower. It looked delicious. Everyone cheered. Oh, thank you. Cried Monsieur Trifle. You are magnifique. <laughs> Never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a big city and decorated a trifle tower. Everyone knows that cows can't go to cities, but we know they can, don't we? I could eat a whole trifle tower, yeah. especially if it was covered with sweetest sprinkles. <laughs> well, I could eat a whole city. Well, I could eat a whole country. Well, I could eat a whole planet. <laughs> well, I could do with a dry pair of trousers. <laughs> oh, oh, Milton, mm. you do look smart. Mm. Uh, a temporary apparition, I assure you. Normal smartness will be resumed as soon as my trousers are cleaned, <laughs> which hopefully will be before long. <laughs> Come, story makers. We must away. <laughs> <laughs> For soon it will be break of day. Bye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories Bye. of fabulous stories. Bye, story maker. <laughs> See you again soon. When I'll be more suitably dressed. Story